Hey everybody, just wanted to show you this uh, applet here where uh, you can use this applet to help your students discover uh, that parallel lines, any two non-vertical parallel lines drawn in the coordinate plane have the same slope and also perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals or multiply to negative one. So notice here the toolbar is greatly limited here. There's only really six tool, seven tools here that are uh, in, essence, in essence shown here. So there's no directions uh, on the applet yet with it, but you can use this ahead of time. But basically here, here's a line. You could show the coordinates uh, or you could show the axes or both, depending on what you uh, would like to do. But if I'm just going to have students focus on slope, I think these tend to distract my opinion. But hey, you as a teacher can make that decision for yourself. So regardless here, we can actually uh, use this custom tool here. Uh, exact slope and all you have to do is select a line and if, once you do it'll literally display the exact uh, 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 it'll generate a slope triangle that helps yield the exact slope of the line there in this case three-fourths right um, so we can draw a parallel line here we'll, we'll put a point out here somewhere and construct a line parallel to that given line and use the slope triangle here and notice that once we move it down just a little bit so we just use that there. Let me just move this down. There we go. The slope of that uh, line is also 3 fourths. No matter where I move it, and you can move this around too, right? The slope triangles, uh, you know, will stay on the line there, of course, and you could drag them so you can see them better. But regardless, parallel lines are the same slope. Now for, uh, in this case here, we'll do the perpendicular now. We'll put a point on this line right over here. And whoop, we'll put a point on the line and we'll use the perpendicular line tool. Here we go, and we'll check out the slope here, and in this case, negative four thirds. But you could drag this anywhere you'd like, and so you can ask your students to move these two purple points around, and maybe make a quick chart, and then uh, record the slope of the line and uh, the line parallel to it, and also the line perpendicular to it, and have them uh, draw some conclusions from that, and have them tell you the relationships. So, thanks for watching.